Yo, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Fantasy Grounds Unity from the ground up. And in this episode, we're spotlighting another extension. Um, so this extension is called Combat Groups Extension. You can find it on the Dungeon Masters Guild. And um, it's by Bill Perry. He's brought us uh, quite a few other ones that are really nice that uh, I've spotlighted. But... Um, Right now, as of today, I don't know. Uh, right now, if you go on DMs Guild to get it, it's actually about what? It's a little bit off. I can't see that number. I think that's a ninety-five, seven ninety-five down to seven sixteen. Um, could be an eighty-five. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so this is a really cool extension that lets you have lots and lots of NPCs on your map without the hassle of having um, the combat tracker just be completely packed. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this. So once you have the mod and you can put it into your Fantasy Grounds folder, go in, click that button there, go into data and you would put it in extensions. Then when you launch Fantasy Grounds, you'll find something called combat groups FGU and you load up your map or your table and uh, you know you can so here's an example I actually forgot I was gonna have more here but here's an example you can see all these mobs on the table here however none of them are showing up in the actual combat tracker and that's by design that's a pretty cool design if you ask me um, what you can do with this is you'll notice we also have this thing up top here, a new line of, of stuff. So we have, this is the group, the group name. This is whether they're visible in the combat, combat tracker or not. This is where you can add new, you can delete the group by just deleting this. And then if you go over there, you can also add groups, um, in there. So if we change this over to say to the blank one and we said... Uh, let's do bottom house, B-O-T-T-O, -T -T -O, bottom house, like so. Of course, it's probably better to have that be an uppercase since the other one is. Now, if we come in here, you'll see it automatically selects it as bottom house. So, you can see in our combat tracker right now, there's nothing in the bottom house. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and open, I can't click it, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do, maybe we have goblins and hobgoblins. Let's do um, kobolds. Kobolds. Um, and so let's add some kobolds to the tracker here. Uh, we have some flying winged kobolds. Sure, why not? Uh, maybe a kobold scale sorcerer. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe a dragon shield red. So here we have a bunch of kobolds. They're in the combat tracker. And if we want to place these guys onto the map, then we just place them onto the map as we normally would. There's our wing kobold, our sorcerer, our kobold number 11, and our dragon shield. And then we have two ways of adding these into our new group that we created. So this uh, bottom house one, Right now it doesn't have anything in it, uh, so if we click visible, invisible, nothing happens. Uh, so one way we can do this is we can actually go to each one. We have this new little icon here, which is kind of a networky icon, but it means groups. And we could come in here and we could go through each and every kobold and say, okay, you're in the bottom house. And now you'll see if I make it visible and invisible, that kobold will appear and disappear off the combat tracker. The other way we can do this is we can actually click the add button and everything in the combat tracker that is not a good guy uh, because friends is not selected will actually be added to bottom house. So if we click that and now if we click visible you'll see they're all not visible or visible. So this is really good so you can actually have it set up instead of having to constantly drag over encounters and you know, line things up. You can actually have everything on the table here. You can have little battles outside. Um, we had our, 
our people were actually combating a, I thought I had a custom did I have a custom one I thought we had an orc or something oh actually I know why because it's looking for kobolds we want to go to uncategorized with nothing and now we have our orc and our assassin now one thing to note is if these guys are already on the map and I click that add all to the thing these guys will be added then I would have to go in and actually change them back to select combat group so that they would no longer be in there so that is just one little thing that if there are people out here that you want visible um, on the combat tracker for combat and stuff uh, then you would have that now just to let you know prior to this uh, this mod what your combat tracker if you had a setup like this would look more like this and as you can see when we're doing combat you'd have to go through goblin cobalt you'd have to keep as the GM I would have to keep clicking actually I don't think I added the hobgoblins there's even more do we get them? There we go. So as you can see, then I would have to, you know, Crystal would attack the orc, then it would be no one, then the wolf gets to go, then we'd hit next, 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 all the way to the next round, and then the assassin gets to go, then next, 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 next. So this is really nice that you actually can um, set up your entire thing with all the different mobs you want on a single map and then simply go in and say okay well I don't want them here but however if they're making a lot of noise out here maybe they'll stir these guys up and they'll come out and you can simply add them to the combat tracker on the bottom house once again we can turn them off the combat tracker and the top house and turn them off so as you can see it makes it really nice to be able to do that now you also do have the option of deleting from the combat tracker when things are dead or whatever um, we can delete everything off the combat tracker that's hostile by clicking this delete from combat tracker um, and actually you know what I just I swear every time I'm doing these videos I come up with ideas that I'm gonna wait I'm not sure if this will work so if let's see let because I believe it will delete these guys if I click on it right because it says delete all NPCs from the current group from the combat tracker so I'm gonna change this to bottom house and we can see they're in there but if we don't have them listed in the combat tracker at the time I don't think it would delete them let's check it did actually and it did not delete these guys okay so that's actually kinda good because if you decided boy these guys are really beaten they just need a break you can actually delete everyone inside that house now another thing is if we uh, let's add the orc inside that house real quick and we'll put him in the combat track because I wanted to show to delete the bottom house for example all we have to do is simply go and delete it here and then if we move over here you'll see there's actually no longer a bottom house uh, if we want to put this orc in the bottom house we would create uh, let's call it the orc hut orc hut come over here and now we have orc hut once again this is where if we were to click the add it would grab everybody off of the table now if I only have four guys on the table that I don't want to be added to the group and about 20 or something in here it might be quicker still to click add and then just go manually change the four that are in there for example if we click add we should see that assassin now gets added to orc cut and orc is added to orc cut so I could simply say okay nope he's not the orc cut like so and now our orc is in his orc cut so it's actually really pretty easy um to do this stuff uh, i think i've covered everything if we include friends it can also include friends uh and enemies into a combat group so this would be everyone on the table uh maybe we'll just do that real quick so let's change this uh let's turn him invisible again so he's not on the combat tracker 
and we'll call a new one. We'll call it outside. So we'll do outside and we'll mark the friends and we'll click on add now. So if we go in here, oh, whoops, I didn't do this yet. There we go. Now I have to click add. <laughs> Dang it. So now if we click add, you can actually see that it didn't do our player. Oh, because that's NPC, friendly NPCs. Yeah, okay. I'm dumb. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> there you go. So we can actually add um, friendly NPCs, not players. That makes sense to me, uh, to combat uh, groups as well. And I think this is a super short video. It's only 10, almost 11 minutes. Uh, but I think that pretty much covers it. I don't think we need to really, you know, extend it longer than it needs to be. So let me just quickly think if that is pretty much everything we want. I believe this icon right here will make those NPCs all visible at once. So if we want an ambush, instead of having to go through the combat tracker and clicking visible on each one, um, like we went to middle house here, turn them visible. This just means they're visible in the combat tracker. However, you'll notice they're invisible still to the players. If we click this eye, it will make them all visible at once, making an ambush much cooler than you going. And anyway, you go inside the house and you see, <laughs> and slowly click them all. So, although that grabbed the Why'd that grab the assassin? Maybe this is all NPCs in the combat group, but he's not in that combat group. Outside. Not sure why the assassin was turning on and off. Anyway, uh, I'm sure it probably has a little bit uh, work to do. And the great thing about getting things on the DMs Guild is they actually have updates going all the time. Like if you go in here and go to your My Library you can come over to this last page here that says updates only and there's constantly things in here we have mad nomads character sheets fantasy you know, map parcel extension talked about that one this one is uh, Diablo Bob's this is Diablo Bob's this is Rob Tui's so a really nice thing is you know you'll if you get it through DMs Guild you're actually able to why is my clothes things aren't working for me uh, but you'll actually be able to get updates as they come out so um, I might have to check in the forum or whatever and see I wonder if anyone's commented let's go look real quick we have a minute wait a while for this get back <laughs> alright that's it so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Sign in that comment, like, and subscribe. Have any questions, leave it in the section down below. Um, follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. Don't forget, tell people about this channel. Let's grow it. Um, we're just almost uh, 1,500 subs. We're, get, we're closing in on that be awesome if we could just grow this channel so tell everyone you know about it if they like it they can you know sub and all that fun stuff and we'll grow it and that's it until next time i'll be seeing you later bye